Hi, welcome to the Brush and Balkan. Today we're just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint one of the Stormcast Night Encantos. The first colour that we're going to be using is Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm going to be using that to paint the inside of all the cloaks. Now if when you paint this colour on it comes out a little bit streaky, you can just go over it again just to smooth that over and get it so it's one nice flat colour. When we come back we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. Next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Cantor Blue. We're going to use this to do the cloak and the robes. Again if you start painting this over the gold it comes a bit streaky, just give it another thin layer. That should cover over any streaks and give you a nice flat blue colour. When we come back, we'll have all the Cantor Blue finished. We're just going to be using Citadel Mephiston Red. We're going to be using that to do part of the robe and the hair and a few little details on the staff. Again, if you smudge any of the colours that you're doing over another colour, you can just go back and sort that out before we move on to the next stage. When we come back we'll have all the fist on bed finished. The next colour we're going to use is Vallejo model colour black. I like that because it's quite a, a matte black. That's just going to be to do all the bits between the armour. When we come back, we'll have all the black done. I'm just going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher, and that's going to be to do the staff, the mace, and some of the smaller details. When we come back, we'll have all the lead belts are finished. Next we're using just a little bit of Aramon Blue, and that's just to do two of the vials. Now you could do these any colour you want really, the principle is pretty much the same. I'll um, post a link below, which will take you to the how to paint glass bottles, and it's just a very quick, very easy tutorial on how to paint glass bottles and vials and make them look like they've got a good bit of reflection on them. When we come back, we'll have all of the Aramon Blue finished. Next, it's just a tiny little bit of Vallejo Flesh Base. I'm just going to use that to do her face. Like so. The final base colour that we're going to add is Vallejo Flat Brown. We're going to be using that just to do the uh, hair and the little tree stump on the base. Like so. Now we're moving on to the shades, and the first one that we're going to use is Citadel Agraxair shade. Now this may need to do the gold, but there is some areas like the tree stump that we'll be using this on as well. Now Games Workshop on the painting tutorials and stuff like that you use Reichland flesh shade rather than Agraxair shade to do the gold. 
uh, works just as well. The Reichland Flesh shade tends to give it a bit more of a reddish colour, whereas I like mine to be quite dark. So it's entirely up to you which one you use and which one you think looks best. The next shade that we're going to use is Citadel Null Noil, and that's just going to be to do all the silver metallics. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Seraphim Sepia. That's just going to be to do the robes, where we're going to do a lighter wash of that, and then the scrolls, where we're going to do it slightly heavier so that all the letters stand out. When we come back, we'll have all the Seraphim Sepia finished. Next, it's just going to be a little bit of Reichland Flesh Shade, and that's just to do the shade on her face. Like so. We're going to shade the reds now, and I'm going to use Juicy Violet for that. Like so. The final shade that we're going to be using is Citadel the Drachen Half Night shade. That's just going to be to do all the blue. And when we come back, all the drag and half my shade will be finished. Now we're going to use some Vallejo Flesh Base again, and that's just going to be to reapply some of the colour back to her face. When we come back we'll have all the flesh base finished. Now we've just added a little bit of Vallejo white to the mix and we're just going to add a highlight to the face. I'm just going to use a tiny spot of white just to do the eyes because I'd like to have them so they're clear and without a pupil. Now we're just going to complete her hair. I'm just going to use Vallejo flat brown again. Next we're just going to use some more Retributor Armour, that's going to be to add the first highlight to the gold and you want to be adding that so that it looks as though the light is catching it, so you want to be adding it to like the top edges of all the surfaces and any ridges and that kind of thing.
next colour is going to be Citadel Liberator Gold and that's just to highlight the Retributor armour that we've just used. Again we're going to use this on the edges which would catch the light and we're going to be leaving some of the Retributor armour showing through around the edges of it. The final highlight that we're going to do for the gold is adding a little tiny bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. And we're just going to do mainly highlights to the very edges and sort of like the corners and things that pick up light more. The next colour that we're going to be working on is Citadel Rakarth Flesh again. I'm going to just be building up the cream colour on the cloth and the ribbons. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakarth Flesh finished. Next, we've added a little bit of white to the Rakarth Flesh. I'm just going to give a bit of a highlight to all the ribbons. When we come back, we'll have all this highlight done. Now we're just going to return to the Cantor Blue. I'm going to highlight the cloak and these parts at the front. When we come back, I'll have all the Cantor Blue finished. I've added a little bit of white to the Cantor Blue. I'm just going to do a highlight on all the blue areas. When you come back, we'll have all the highlights finished. Now we've just added a little bit more white to the same mix. I'm just going to do one final highlight on the blue. When we come back, we'll have all the highlights finished. Now returning to Citadel Fist on Red, we're going to be doing highlights on the staff and also putting some colour back onto the hair. When we come back, we'll have all in the fist on red done. I just added a little bit of Fire Dragon Bright to the red. I was just going to do a bit of a highlight on the hair.
And we've just had a little bit more Fire Dragon Bright. We're just going to do one final highlight on a few little bits of the hair. Now we've mixed a little bit of white with my fist on red. We're just going to do some highlights on the gems. I like to try and do these opposite. So you do one corner on either the top left or the top right, and then do the opposite corner. Next, we're just going to be using some pure white. That's just going to be to do a few little reflections on the diamonds. Next we're just going to add some pure white to some of the details, such as the little diamonds and patterns here and on the cloak. When you're painting the white you might find that it streaks a little bit when you put it on, but as usual if you get the previous colour showing through just give it an extra layer you can cover that right up. When we come back we'll have all the pure white done. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo German Grey, and that's just going to be to highlight the black. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. I'm going to use that just to do the little buckle that's holding this strap on here. Now we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher, and that's just going to be to highlight some of these metallics that we put on earlier on. Now I'm just going to use a tiny little bit of Drachenhof Nightshade and we're going to use that to shade the little bottles. Like so. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Araman Blue, and that's just to recolour the bowl. Like so. I've just added a little bit of white to the Araman blue. I'm just going to highlight these bottles. Like so. There's a touch more white to that mix, and we're just going to do one final highlight before we add pure white. Like so. The final colour that we're going to use is just pure white, 
Now it's just going to do the final highlights on the balls. Like so. There we have the finished Night in Canto. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to our other forms of social media. Link below. Thanks very much.